Did you look at what I did? You look at what I did. You look at you look at the chat. I post it again. Well, some more pictures. Well, no, this shows that the St. Lawrence River has been ge ge the, ge the U.S. Geology so uh, Society has measured this river to be eight meters higher at the mouth than at the source. <coughs> Over 550 miles. Would the source be up up the top of a hill somewhere? So, hold on, it's eight Whoa. meters, yeah? What about, so how far is that? 500 miles? 550 miles, yes. Well, how much curvature is in that as well? The curvature would be it's more than eight meters. For being an orientation <laughs> perpendicular to blood that'd be over. Oh, get out! This is some super water, oh, super why river. You, why are you saying? Why are you saying that they're measuring the the, the shape of the geoid? Why Why are you saying that? Because they measure it with actually, they actually have level. A handhold level can do this. They do it with sophisticated equipment to be able to show you that. But is it? But isn't that begging the question? Based on the because, hold on, let me because, finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. It's always begging the question. I've got a question yeah. for you, no. actually. Is that based it? On, hey, look, hold on. You know, hold on. Nice point. Hold on. Go on. Based go on, on, go on the on. perpendicular orientation to plumb, that gives you the geoid shape. Now, I want me to read it again, but I think you can read it on your own. It talks about this image above. shows the actual height measurements made along the banks. So they measured it. They measured it actually, and the, both ellipsoidal and ortho, orthometric heights are shown. That's the green line and the blue line. The river that flows northeast has an increasing ellipsoidal heights along its length, which means it flows uphill in an eight, back. eight meters. This is because this is because the ellipsoidal heights don't account for Earth's gravity field. We consider orthometric heights, which do not which do account for variations in gravity potential, we see the heights decrease toward the mouth, as we would expect the water flows downhill. Does that ah, make so sense? the water oh, doesn't the flow uphill then? I've got yes. a question, right? Hold on, Zanuck. It flows right. downhill, right. downhill gravitationally, but not uh, ellipsoidally. Right, okay, so what about the distance of 500 miles, yeah? Do you know what the, the, the actual um, drop is? Of course, what do you mean, they of course you know what the drop is. So it's 31.7 miles. Right. Right. So, which way is it dropping? What end of that river? You're confusing uh, the elevation high end or the low. You're end. confusing elevation with drop. <laughs> okay. You're confusing well, there's a, there's elevation a drop. with drop. Yeah. Drop. Elevation is what we're talking about here. It's, yeah, it's the curved level, elevation isn't it? Elevation is above yeah, water's water's level. level. Yeah, so exactly. water is water's running. So down you're confused. So in other words, you're too. confused. Is that is that it? Is that what you want to, how you want to end this? You is that we just don't right. swallow can I, can the mark, shit? You, can I, you mark what you don't understand? So is that, is that sorry, Zanik, can I just get that? He's just give us some numbers yeah. there. Like, it wasn't you that gave us the numbers. Spot on did I then. Did, did but, like, it, yeah. that's 300 and something over five. That, that is the spherical drop. It's right. No, than no, that's that's the can curvature I, of yeah, level, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that how much level curves? Yes. On your I, model. Yes. Yeah, so right. Why did Spot On have to give us that number? Yes. Why couldn't oh. you do it? Because it sounds crazy. No, it doesn't sound crazy. Are you told me <laughs> <It does. laughs> Hold on, hold on, guys. Let, let me let me read something that also sounds crazy. So if you uh, if you look up geoid, and if if you're not thinking about trying to win an argument, you just read it. Just read it. You say, geoid, the first thing I, uh, that comes up, the hypothetical <laughs> shape of the Earth coinciding yeah. with the mean sea level and its imagined extension under or over land areas. That's, <laughs> it's like, that's crazy. No, it talks about this, this spheroid, or the, actually the ellipsoid, that is, yeah, definitely under the mountains and over the, uh, over the base of the... Uh, of the bottom of the ocean, it is a mean yeah, yeah. sea level. That's what it means. It's, 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 it's pretty tame from uh, it's, it's a picture. The Bible. I it. That's crazy as fuck. Look. So you got an understanding now of what a ellipsoid is, what a spheroid is, and what a geoid is. This is real knowledge it's here. It's all begging the questions, Anik. We measure it. We actually measure it. And measure I give you the what? data. Mm. No, it's not begging any question. Spot on gave us it. Let me read. Let me, let me read to you again. Then hold on. So although we a started surface, off with hold, a glow. Let me read it. Let me read. And hold then on. you do the maths so, to so, see. Although a chosen surface is truly the datum, 
It has become common practice to use the term vertical datum to mean the entire system, including the reference surface. Surveyor Mark. Reading from which book are you reading from? There's Anik. To determine the heights. Give, us, give surface. us the book you're reading from. I, I already see so you already see. I gave it to you already, and you didn't want to go to it. What the book? The, the NAB, the NAB eighty-eight, and the uh, what was the other um, standard? It goes back in nineteen eighty. The Geo eighty mapping. These are all. WGS nineteen eighty-four. Was that what you were talking about? I None of this people. proves these the spherical earth. People do this. Here we go. I'll put. I'll, uh, it's in the chat. Here's your proof. Go read up. Why don't you read it and then come back to me and tell me what you don't agree with? Because right now you're just mocking what you don't understand. Right, I'm just gonna have a look at it. What is this flash? Uh, who's the guy that says oh, it I'll, doesn't I'll prove it okay, things? I'll, I'll be back. Oh, I can't reach it. Who's the guy that says it doesn't prove things? Me. So when the science say it's good, and then, so and then comes long. up with math you know, to make sense of, of observations in the context of a sphere. Of Ram, yeah, Ram, Sherlock, where did science say it proves things? Because you said it like, you know, you want to find this deep hole in science that it doesn't actually prove things. But where in science does it prove things? Well, first of all, I don't think he was uh, referring yeah. to science when he said that, but that's... Uh, I think Isn't this is a scientific point. discussion. I'll let you read it. Science debunk something. So science Good. doesn't prove anything. That's that's your position. But you guys know that the Earth is a sphere. That's a reasonable understanding. Yeah. Without any that's proof. A representation of what we measure. We measure. No, no, no. They, they, measure, have, they have. That's those just it. Long. Just, just admit well, that it's, a, it's your it. best no, guess. Dude, it. it's Ram. Your best guess. Can you and prove? That's about it. That's what Can you prove got. to me right now that, for example, your hand has five fingers? Can you give me undisputable proof? I could take a photo in real time and send it to you. Yes. Really? I could come and show you. Oh, those are cool. but, but what you can actually This do, is coming from a guy who's debunking the uh, old photos of NASA well, as actually do to figure out. And you go to photo. Okay. The first thing you go to photo. It's their double forget standard pictures. rising to the forefront. Strider I'll tell you how you prove. Standard. You prove uh, okay, that you have more than Elias, how do you prove Elijah, how do you prove it? You, you I don't know how to prove it. You, have, you prove that you have six fingers by, first of all, we know what fingers are. And that's number one. It's like, okay, there's this hand that we're all um, born with. And normally, if they're five now, fingers, I asked you, it happens to how be a six prove? finger, how would you know? How would you verify or prove Dude. that there's a six finger? Hold you on. Literally listen to my question. With the person who has a sixth finger. Dude, that's that's the answer to, to your question. question. You can literally interact with it. You don't have no, to look not. at it only, but you can be up close to it, touch it, smell it. You can do all of that. You can't do that with the sky. Dude, you haven't not listened going to my to question. The sky. I asked you, how do you prove to me that you have a hand with five fingers? I'll tell you how. Remember a guy went for a photo. I come, I come, I come, I come and I meet you and you count how many fingers I have. That's really? All, that's possible. Oh, you could put, Whereas, oh, I, I, I got the answer that was... is not possible. I got oh. the answer that was satisfy a glober. Oh. One times five equals five. There you go. Proof. Oh, mathematics. Oh, like, that was not nice enough. enough. <laughs> so, Elijah, Elijah, to prove something then, Elijah, so to prove something then, as long as you can verify it, that's good enough for you. You don't have to verify it, but as long as you can verify it. You see, Elijah, even if you look at it with yeah. your eyes, that think. is not proof. Because I can't see air, for example. That means air doesn't exist. Right, well, we go no, to space. I, I know, I know, no, that's, why I, space, that's so why I said that's, you that's would have to... That's the proof, then it's a sphere. Well, the horizon's level, so... Stick with that's that. that's why that's why I said you would have to be able to do more than look at it. And remember, I well, said you go to space. Then it's not proof to me. Different things to determine it. You go and to space and see the yeah, no, that's, that's not proof. It's not. Yeah, but Done. what you're what Done you're asking, 
me to is your question is very a different what is question? than me believing that someone has five fingers. No, I asked you for the proof. Somebody having the five fingers is verifiable. Well, How is it verifiable? You right. can verify it by literally. Hold on, hold on. In the same way that you can meet a person, can you meet the sun and 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 study it? No, you can't. That there's the difference right there. Yeah, you could you could go to the that sun. That is a difference. It's a real difference, is it not? You could go to the sun in a spaceship, but you die. But you could go there. <laughs> and, Okay, who's, who's done I'm, that? I'm not dying. No, you didn't, you, didn't, you, you didn't say that. Elijah's, Elijah's uh, evidence that we can prove it is you can. He didn't say you have to go there to prove it. He said the, the fact, the very fact that you can go there and verify it is good enough. So uh, I still the, the, don't get how your visual confirmation and verification of a hand why, with five fingers you? is proof a fucking proof in the logical, mathematical, strict keep... sense of the word of why, something. Why do you have to keep on minimalizing what I'm saying to only observation, which is actually my problem? The reason yours. why I asked the, the question is, is because... observation is not enough. The reason That's why I asked this question yours. my point is because someone said science proves things. And I'm curious how they figure that. Some of you guys are happy with just reading a meaning in a dictionary. Okay. So um, how does science prove hmm. things? Or does it, it even prove things to be in the beginning? It proves cause First and effect. First of all, having five, well, fingers is, having five fingers is self-evident. It's like... I have five fingers. Yeah, something yeah, yeah. Other than four fingers and a thumb. This sort of approach is not allowed. No, it's, because it's, it's self-evident that things I don't thing. say doesn't give me, exist. Give me... There's a difference between being able to touch and high-five someone you don't have to look at someone to high five them. You're touching them. You're not you doing touch any touching air? of the sun. Can you touch air? According to your logic, so air you doesn't feel, exist you can feel because air. Can't... What do you mean? Can you touch air? Yeah, you can. What do you mean? Are you saying that if I'm not walking through a fog, I'm not going to feel the water vapor on my face? That's that if water I'm driving vapor, through not a fog, air. it's not going to eventually. Yeah, but listen, air is made up of what? Well, you tell me. You're the one who's gonna prove. You can that, smell. Uh, you can. You, you can, can smell touch it gas. And there for proof. You can smell gas. Gas is gas, but you can smell it. Can you not? You're not smelling the sun, are you? I'm not making assertions like you are right now nope. in this conversation. What I'm saying is, I'm giving started. you examples. I'm giving you examples of. I'm giving you examples of how these are differences between what I can do and what you can't. I can smell, I can touch, I can and look if I want That's pretty much it, right? The and on top of that. In the experiment, therefore my experiment, you can do none of those experiment is valid and mine isn't because there are differences in them and you like yours. So basically it is a bias. No, it's not, it's not that it's different. It's not because you have different experiments. I'm not talking about a difference. I'm talking about... How you yes, can you use the different types of measurements and observations. Not... You said touch and smell, but which is different than me, just observing. Every time, every time you hold on, right or wrong, right or wrong, when you ask me, how do I prove that I have five fingers? The only thing you ask me about is observation. And I keep saying, well, you can touch somebody, unlike you can do with space. And you're not acknowledging that. Because it's not proof, man. What's your standard I, I of proof, then? Proof. What's your question? I'm just giving a difference between... Exactly. My standard of proof is the way it is defined in logic. Okay, so how, how would I satisfy that in the context of your question of do I have five fingers? You You're the one asking, so how do I satisfy you? You wouldn't satisfy it. That's ah, my there point. You go. 
There oh, you, you can never have his evidence. That's all you can ever have, evidence. You can only present your best guess based on the evidence that you have. You will never give me any fucking proof. Dude, that's not science. Well, that's conceptualizing. That's, uh, Rams, and Rams, 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 you really fans. don't understand, Rams, right? Because if you go online, anywhere you look, about science, it always tells you that science doesn't prove things. So I'm really, really confused. No, so you got to believe that. No, 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 that's, that's, not science. Science. that's because it's already. Oh, that's, that's because it's already all pseudoscience. That's why. Oh, yeah. it's all yeah. pseudoscience. Yeah. That's why they have to say that, so that they can lump their shit in there. Right. Mark, uh, Mark, listen for a moment. In a lot of schools, uh, the university first years for freshmen, when you know they're stupid and are still learning. They give this idiotic definition of a scientific method and they claim that that's the whole science, you know, so that the kids can understand it easily. So there's a guy here named Quantum Eraser and he takes that to an extreme level and he says that's all science is. Yeah, I understand that. And these guys yeah, believe him. So yeah, the propaganda, so the propaganda right, continues. But like, the, this is what makes me laugh. This is what makes me laugh. None of, these, none of these lot are involved in science. And they completely they all crush know any, any chance at critical thinking once what, you get Mark, to the university level. They just crush you know, any chance Mark? of thinking. No, no, I don't. But that's why I defer to people that are intelligent, more intelligent than me. So, dude, been, you been, just been said that you can... Okay. Dude, you, know, you ben, imply you, you, you can ben prove science things with there. science, oh, and you talk know. of critical I'm things. So spot on level, you know better than scientists. Shit around. Around. You're chucking the shit Without around. having done any well, no, experience. do you know better than scientists then, spot Who, on level? me? I haven't yeah. said anything about science. Well, I'm do you saying... believe scientists? Do you think they're smarter than you in science? Do you in not agree parts? that to, to, yeah. to do science, you right, need to have a hypothesis? So you're in the same position as me then, well done, great. So guys, no, exactly. No, because I believe the, the, what, what is a what, what is a scientist? What no, does a scientist have to do your with science? Delusions. Fuck that. Well, I'll get you. Fuck yeah. that. No, but let I'm, me let me let me make an example. Let me make an example of why that's Rivers ridiculous. Garfield? Because there are music teachers. <laughs> when did I that say don't that? Know how to actually <laughs> play good music? Oh, that's when what did I always say that? That's what you've got to believe, because that's what Zanuck says. Oh, so you've got to believe the Earth's accelerating up at nine. Well, that's what you, you put me in what this. What a um... fucking tard you are. What a yeah. tard. Well, that's ridiculous. Thank you, Thank you, you know that shit. Thanks, oh, what? It's nice okay for him to say that I've got to believe stuff, but when I do it to you, it's not all right. Yeah, that's really funny. You, you, you didn't tell Zanuck he was wrong, did you? You just sat there I, while I he was saying it. On it. I can't comment on it, because I don't know what, what river or canal or whatever he's talking about. What, uh, going uphill? Well, well if, if, if the elevation's higher at one end than the other, then that would be uphill, wouldn't it? Yeah, and you believe that that's fine, that water no, can do that. Like I said, I can't comment on that. Yeah, but I, can't it, comment I think he's on that. saying that the river at the mouth by the sea is higher than where it starts from. Yeah. At the, at the hill. Yeah, that's what he's saying. So what do you think of that, Mark? Eight meters it goes like uphill I said, I what, from its I don't source. Know what Zanuck's talking about, so I can't comment on it. He, Mark, he said, from its source, it goes eight meters uphill to that. the sea. I've got to tell you, I don't know what he's talking he about. He doesn't so want to hear about it. Yeah. It's all right. Okay, okay, Mark. Fucking hell. Okay, I'm trying to be honest, and you fucking, and I... I'm getting dug out for being honest. Sorry. Wow. No, no, you're right, Mark. Sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Lay off a Mark. Lay, lay yeah, off. No. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. I don't care. You do it all you like. It just proves to me that you're all fucking dishonest when you say oh, stuff like that. Oh, come on. Yeah. Well, you are. No, you are. no. no you're trying to say that I should believe, saying, I should believe, I should believe rivers sorry. run uphill because <laughs> fucking Zanik <laughs> says it. You, you said you, you, it's all right. We, you know, you, you've told us I, you don't know whether rivers can run uphill or not. So, yeah, that's okay, fine. No, it doesn't make sense to me, no. I'm, Rivers I'm don't but run uphill. Zanik just it's said. Nobody said, don't that. say that, Zanik. Zanik said something on, else. Red up. He meant something else, genius. Oh, right. So when Zanik said something, he didn't actually mean that. Yes, that's the way he fucking talks. If you want to talk to him and engage with him, that's your problem. <laughs> He's got you there. <laughs> right, well, so everybody, everybody knows that Zanuck talks a load of shite then, do they? 
No, he talks a lot of uh, things in an overly complicated way, and his meaning can be interpreted in fucking rivers. The river runs uphill. Yeah, how do What's you? What's complicated um... about that? Yeah, what do you think of that? It's just up? wrong, isn't it? <laughs> Not according to Severe, right. it isn't. Exactly. What's complicated? They don't use these words exactly as Zanuck does. They yeah, frame it in a bit more technical words. terms. Come on, be honest. Yeah, man. more That's technical terms. Yeah, makes it right. What words are those? We're just discussing. It was that Zanuck come back then. Zanuck, yeah, we're just discussing yeah, what, your. What uh, we're discussing your river running uphill. Nobody else believes that you actually said that, or you didn't no, mean it no when you said it. Rivers run uphill in the simple sense no, no, of the word. Let, let Zanuck speak. If you want to well, listen to this stuff falls, again water. and not get it, fine. Let him speak. Water. Zanuck, go ahead. They want you to talk. So water is level when it follows the, the geoid equipotential surface. What that means is any point on that water surface, you'll find a, an orientation of that water, which is perpendicular to level. I mean, perpendicular to the plumb line. Now, the geoid the water, being the theoretical the water's level all the time. The level, yes, being an orientation perpendicular to the yeah, plumb line. To the however, 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 on the ellipsoid, the ellipsoid you will find, will that, find that the river, river will actually... Will actually uh, we want to do it. Up well, up well. Sorry to interrupt. You want to do a test? Testing one, two, one, two. Yeah. Yeah. Copy, yeah. copy. Yeah. Yeah. Loads of echo yeah. from you. Echo from you. Ec a lot of echo from me. Yeah. A lot of echo from, yeah. us. Echo from us. Fuck. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> Out. No worries. So, you, you want to hear this one? Wrong spot. He's gone. So now we have. So no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, I think I, I think. Uh, let me point this out. Okay, so you're saying that. It's level, which means because it's a ball, that at some point level would have to be not horizontal, but actually vertical. How is that possible with water all, cause, cause, and all this? Because the geoid is actually curved. It's a roughly a spherical shape. And they measure it. Yeah, I, I just said that. Yeah. I just said that. I said, right. how is that possible? He's saying because that water's running that, uphill. That's the question. So every so water has weight, and that weight is always going to be pulling it down. So any kind of concentration of a gravitational force, meaning when it's a little heavier some places than other places, it will force it to clump in certain areas, and it will make the geoid uneven. So it will not be perfectly spherical. It won't even be elliptical. It will be a geoid by definition. There's three terms you have to get straight. The geoid, the spheroid, and the ellipsoid. The spheroid would be as if it's a perfect sphere. The, ellip the ellipsoid is what it looks like because of it's being wider at the waist. Oh, I, I think I've got you. Yeah, I've got you. Yeah. And theoretical. The, the weight of the water giving, you know, has weight, has force, and that geo can be measured. And that's the, that's the picture you want to look at right there. Yeah. It's, an over, it's an exaggeration, but it's basically what happens. The geo only, only varies about 200 feet all over the earth. Can we go back to the uphill water, please? I'm yeah. so so the so yeah, there the uphill water. I gave pictures. Don't make me post them again. Of the river that runs literally uphill from the ellipsoid. We've measured this ellipsoid. We see the, the shape of the Earth, and it actually is a higher point on that surface than where it starts. Yet it flows downhill. Eight, eight, Why? Eight because meters from the source. Did you say? Why? Because the geoid dictates. That the gravitational force orientation is such that it actually gravitationally is going downhill, but physically going oh, uphill. God, with relative so sweet. Physically uphill. Yes, physically Hold going on. uphill. It, catch that you said the geoid, a.k.a. the hypothetical theory, which is running your understanding of what's going theory. on. It's dictating, well, on, it's dictating to you. Surveyors you just said it dictates. You said no, it dictates no, it dictate. that yeah, the water's going uphill. They measure it. The, the, they measure the thing it. that you're believing in. They measure in. it. They measure it. You can measure it yourself with a bubble level. You can yeah, actually yeah, measure yeah, it. Listen, water going uphill. That's like me. Yes. That's like that's like yes, me yes. looking at a clock and then and then 
Say, no, it's I'm not. about to it's count like from that. one to twelve. It's yes, nothing it is. like that. Where, where, like where that. is it, Sally? No, no, no. Is, is there a video of anyone doing this uh, with a bubble level watching the water? Because it, if it physically goes uphill, that that would be fantastic. Where's there's got to be a video yeah, of it not, somewhere. It runs like away from the gravitational sea. hill in Canada. Yeah. There's actually a place called the gravitational. That's an optical illusion. We're talking about a real phenomena, a real phenomena. So basically, that water, that's why that's why it uphill. seems like the I, fish are oh, sorry, swimming up oh, Elijah, do I need to post a picture again for you, bud? Come on. Can, I, I'd, I'd like to see a video of this. The fish swim uphill because they're actually swimming downhill because of the geoid. They look I like they're swimming the uphill. The river is <laughs> swimming down. <laughs> it's just a little the river joke. Actually, sorry. yeah, you know, has been measured the, to go the uphill. They're actually going down it. <laughs> yeah, there's no, there's no, there is no up or down. Come on. Oh no, of course there's not. No, because you're always on top of the ball, aren't you? There it is. Yeah. There's the river. To be fair, Zanuck, I don't think. Anywhere in the paper that you're citing, it actually uses. Is anyone, the is anyone here that near that down. place? Should so I read then, it again? Where, where, where is it? Should I'm not. Read it again? I'm not in America. Where whereabouts is that in America? It's in Canada. Oh, it's in Canada. Who have we got? So let me see it again. Earl. It has increasing ellipsoidal heights along its length, which means it flows uphill in ellipsoidal height system. This is measured, Brilliant. by the way. Eight because meters, did you say? This Let me sentence, finish. Or did Let, you me add... finish. Let me finish. That's because the ellipsoidal heights don't account for Earth's gravitational field. If we consider the orthometric heights, which means the geoid heights, we, which do account for the variations in gravity potential, we see the heights decrease toward the mouth of the river, and we, as we expect, the water flows downhill. Gravitationally downhill, not Physically up downhill. It's actually going uphill, as it says. The water flows uphill in an ellipsoidal height system. Yeah, I think that ellipsoidal like height system is broken. That. This is no. This is these are professional surveyors. <laughs> really? This yes. These are people that actually make sure. You laughing? I can hear you laughing. You know. What? We can hear you laughing. I'm, I'm looking at um. I'm 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 looking at uh, read, read it. horizontal read it. Uh, horizontal level. You uh, posted um, a picture. Oh, from Zanik that said, uh, yeah, yeah. here are how surveyors find level. Yeah. Now, the funny thing about this made me think about why why isn't everything covered with water then? <laughs> like perfectly to the land underneath, well, the sea. Like Because that's what this is saying. But then you have a mound of land right there to the left. That's the land that's above the sea level. But this is hold on, hold on, hold on, two seconds as well, because you said that there was five hundred meters. Yeah, this river. Five hundred miles. Five hundred meters. Five hundred oh, miles. Uh, miles. I went. Sorry, sorry. Five hundred miles, and you're saying there's eight. Four hundred miles. Height difference in that river. Oh, over over five hundred and fifty kilometers. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, more okay. like three hundred fifty miles. Yeah, and as we know, if we do the Earth that, calculations on five hundred miles, keep it, keep it in meters. Five hundred fifty. Um, it's five hundred thirty-one point seven miles drop. No, let me finish. You're always talking. Let me finish. Calm down, Zach. 550 kilometers. 31.7 Let me finish. Stop talking over me. What? Do you own this place? 550 miles, 550 kilometers, and we have a height. 31.7 Let me finish. Fuck. The ellipsoidal height is 8 meters. The orthometric height goes down to zero as it meets the end, the mouth of the so river. It only it only rises eight meters from its source. Yeah. But it drops thirty one point seven miles over five hundred miles. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Right. So right, whilst okay. whilst so curving thirty odd cool. miles, it again level is perp in orientation perpendicular to the plumb. And so yes, that river is curve, running. It will curve thirty one miles over 550 kilometers. Yeah, so I'm just saying that water is running 30, as a drop of 31.7 miles with that water. Yes. From one place to another. Perfectly level all the way. From no, near no level. level. A drop. <laughs> near level. One meter, a one meter, a one meter change. A over, river you know, can't be level, Zanik. A one, a one meter drop of actual gravitational differential. The physical differential is eight meters uphill. <laughs> Think about that. Yes. See, 
Why are you thought about him, right? Mind? You just got to believe him, guys. Yes. No, you got to think. <laughs> thought about you it, and I think you're mad. Learn something. Understand the basic concepts, Rams. Thanks, Anagram. Stop Thank questioning you. what you don't understand. I appreciate your time. Hey, time out. Time out. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to ruin your day again. Uh, oh. Radio check. Yeah. Mic yeah, check. Yeah, copy that. You're good. Loads copy cleaner. That. No echo. Very no good. Echo. Seems fine. No, no echo. All good. Okay, we're going to try something here. I want you guys to tell me if you can hear this. No. Nothing yet. Oh, and the ones that do know, you're going to put oh. the categories I put them in. Yeah, can just it's very low. It's low. Yeah. Yeah. That's very, yeah. That's a problem. Okay, uh, sorry to interrupt the argument, and <laughs> I, 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 I think I'm gonna I can end this for today. So appreciate oh, it, man. Yeah. Thanks for putting no, up with us. Shame you're not involved in this conversation. Right, yeah, I got bigger <laughs> issues. Yeah, that was, when you pop All in, right. I was like, oh, good luck, man. Let him, let him get that hypothesis going with that. Uh, yeah, I got a hypothesis with voice meter banana. I'm gonna rip its fucking guts out. <laughs> Well, later, <laughs> man. Later. No, no later, guys. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> He's a character, isn't he? <laughs> uh, that he is. I think he might be trying to get OBS working through Discord. I'd like to go on a canoe on that river. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sounds fun, doesn't it? I bet it's hard work. You know, I bet, I bet the canoe, you're like, the, that's where they go, canoeists go training. It's <laughs> always uphill. It <laughs> 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 just keeps coming at you. It's like you don't have to go in there. It'd be quite good training that because you could get to the sea and then you could. Go downhill all the way back to the beginning of the river, couldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> to the sea and float back. And all the people on the side of the um, walkways will be looking, going, How are you doing that? You just go, It's an ellipsoid. <laughs> geoid. <laughs> Do you not know about geoids? <laughs> oh, God. I've got the papers here, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I'd actually just send them here. <laughs> That's good. I should write that down as a bit. <laughs> Zanix uphill river. That's going to be lasting for ages. He's got to. He's got to get more information about that now. He'll have to find some more yeah, rivers that flow that uphill. Survey that's ever taken a surveying class knows this, except for you. What well, the rivers you flow uphill to the sea? Class. That's the problem. Yeah, you got to. You got to learn this stuff. It's actually knowledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can learn it. You can, you can, if you understand it, you'd be able to go out and do your own testing. You can get a theodolite. You can get a bunch of plumb bobs. And you can go out and knock yourself out and I, learn about it. I this. reckon, um, what about my <laughs> wall that I was talking about earlier? Like, if you had a wall that was 10 miles long and you got a four foot level and put a line underneath the bottom of it and then moved it along four foot and keep going, keep going, and you run your eye in it and it's absolutely bang on level, would that be bent? I don't know what you said. What did you say? Well, if you've got a wall that's 10 miles long... A wall? Yeah, and you've got your four-foot level, literally a four-foot level, you know what I mean, like carbonates or brick layers. Okay. You move that level from point to point every four foot in a nice straight line, that wall, when you get your eye on it, it looks absolutely perfect. Yep. Yeah. And then you go and check it with another level, and you put, like, um, you go along... What do you mean, another, well, hold on, what do you mean another level? So far, oh, I got, 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 got you. Level. So I'm, I've got a level... And I'm going for every four feet, I'm measuring with my level and a plumb bob, and I'm measuring level every no, 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 with a plumb bob. No, 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 it's a level on the top of the wall. And it's, and it's yeah, absolutely... top of the wall. Every four yeah. feet, I got that level on the wall and it looks perfectly level. Yeah, and it's going, I run my eye along it and it's still, it's really spot yeah, on. Yeah. And level. I go and get a level, like one that you look through. And and at, the end of, at the end of one mile, it'll drop eight inches. Ah. That's, that's all I needed to know. Yeah. What about this is what Brian Mullen proposed, isn't it? Yeah, and the that's why we've already, we've already built that.
So I've already posted the picture of the straightest and flattest object in the universe. And that is basically the fourth line. That is the fourth line. Basically, in, in real life. They've already done it. See, a lot of the stuff they've already done, you guys just aren't aware of it. Yeah, we, we've heard yeah. about it. Is it. What's this? Um, have you put it up of you? Where's this picture? Yeah. There we go. Is this this? So this um, is the flat. This is the object. But that's like a meter. This inside this object is a, is a tube, a vacuum tube, which yeah. has a tolerance of 20 thousandths of an inch over two miles. Now, one okay. end from the middle is eight inches lower than the middle, and the other end is eight inches lower than the middle. If it was, if it was, if it was level, but it's not. Okay. Right. Is so this the one where the balls roll to the middle? So this is where the ball would roll it's to the higher. middle. Yes. Is it lower in the middle or higher? It's perfectly flat. But, Why the balls roll in but to, compared to the geoid or even the ellipsoid, it actually has the plumb lines on the end are point, pointing inward, meaning it's not oh. level. So it's not level. It's flat. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Now this is this is reality for you. Carry on with that one. I've been there. I've talked to people that built this place. It's the way it is. You don't believe it because you don't. You're confused. That's okay. Which, you can be confused. Say that again. Oh, which, which way are the verticals pointing, Zanik? The vertical in the middle is straight down. Plumb line straight down. Yeah. At, at the ends. The ends have angled plumb bobs. Yeah, yeah. Which way to because, the angle? Because one because one side from the middle is eight inches lower than the other side. Right. But then how does the ball roll? towards the middle that's that's why why what because the plumb lines are pointed inward plumb lines are pointed inwards not you just said no. they were pointing outwards which right. which no, inwards no, no, at the no, no, top no, no, or right. inwards at the bottom wait wait because it's not because the plumb hold, hold on inward. let's let's the let's take all of the smart ends, malarkey the out of this Let and let's just talk like a regular level. the ends are not level no okay. what well, yeah, they're, they're not they're not <laughs> they're not <laughs> no no what? No, let's no, no. Time time out, time but out, the out. ends are not level because I, hold on here's 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 the thing you put you if you try to roll a ball up a hill it's 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 not gonna stop in the middle of the hill where the other side is starting to go down. And that's where this is so much. So See what I mean? Actually, we'll do that. You will roll it from one end, you know, roll to the middle, and then it'll stop in the middle. It'll overshoot and come back and eventually oscillate and end up in the middle. Because uh, the middle is uh, plumb line. As though, plumb it's, line. as though it's concave, Hold on, let right? Me finish. Let me finish. The middle is a... Is right. The picture of the middle is plumb line perpendicular. Right? Yeah, but it'd have to be concaved, wouldn't it? This, no, this shape. Flat, you know, for the balls to do like what you claimed... Already. Within it's twenty thousandth of an inch it's inside, the ends. straight. Like the middle will be higher. Twenty thousandth of an inch, twenty thousandths of an inch tolerance from end to end. Twenty thousandths, perfectly straight. Yet it doesn't drop eight inches from the middle of the end, or or you would have a curved shape, which you don't. It doesn't drop eight inches. It's perfectly flat. Right. Okay. So the ends have a plumb. Let me finish. The ends have a plumb bob that are is slightly angled. By about 0 0.04 degrees, so it basically rolls to the center. No, they, they see, no, no. Wait, go, let's go back to that, to the end bit, the plumb bobs. How do where you say point inwards? Which way is pointing inwards? Uh, Underneath the the or on toward top? The the toward the center of the structure, because the the object below them. Yeah, the uh, yeah, on the top or on the bottom. Either way. What? Either way. What do you mean? Either flat. way, it's like one one inward. shape is convex and the other no, one is concave. Flat. Which flat as a pancake? They're both straight as an arrow. They have to be straight. Well, how... they, they, they... So then the straight verticals are ninety the degrees. Then they close the strong, the straightest object in the universe. In the universe. Yeah. 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 As far as we know, this is the straightest wow. object in the universe. It's super straight. How long is it? Two miles long, kept within twenty thousandths of an inch, like a spark plug gap of accuracy of straightness. Yeah, right. And but so the made? verticals at the ends, I'm trying to get. Like you say, it's the end. now. If you hang yeah. a plumb bob at the ends, they yeah. point inward by by point oh five degrees underneath, hanging from the object. That's yes, straight. yes. So they point inwards underneath. So imagine oh, they go in like a straight line above. 
Don't yeah, they Come on. they would be, be pointing this, like be this, yeah. to you your cannot, supposed you can't understand this. center yes, of mass. You put, the plumb, bulb, you put the plumb bulb on the end and it points inward. Right, okay. So Angle, how, how does Angle. the ball you know why? roll you know towards why? the center? You know, why? you know why? Because if it was not straight, it'd be curved, and then the ends would be perpendicular to, to level. See, the level of the orientation. I don't know what you're talking Why about. Why is this so hard to imagine? Can we get a Not consensus? A fifth grader. <laughs> can can we get a, a, hold on. Can we get a consensus? Like a different language. Can we get a consensus not, from the rest of the of the rest of the room? Other than uh, I obviously, based on his explanation, I'm like, okay, if it's going to the middle, then it has to be concave. Yes. Apparently, agreed. The, uh, the uh, uh, horizontal level yeah. is thinking the same thing that I'm thinking. Is yeah. there anyone who agrees with Zanuck or agrees with us, and why? Let's just do a quick survey. Not to the point because it's appeal to popularity, fellas. <laughs> no, it's it's checking who's understanding. Yeah, but I still. Yeah, you can check my problem. It's not convex. It's straight. The ends have a plumb bob that curves or points inward because it is straight, and the object beneath him is curved. Are they metal balls then, and the magnets in the middle? So it is curved. Why do you got to talk over me? Hey. Well, yeah, because I'm just trying to get some understanding. You're saying that it's straight, the straightest thing in the galaxy. Yes. And then you're saying there's plumb bulbs at each end, and they're coming like inwards as they go Correct. further. Correct. Because the surface oh, is sitting because in the middle. You, got, well, you finished your thought or not? No, he hadn't finished. Because, because the, because I the finished. God damn it. Because no. the geoid, let me talk. No, no he hadn't that, finished. Stop interrupting me. Well, no, he hadn't no. finished. The geoid it's underneath is curved. The geoid, the gravitational orientation, lines of, of down are curved. You've got to start with the sphere, everybody. You've yeah. got to start with that. No, you don't. Hey, it's so don't. This level, you this don't. level shows line, the sphere. Zanuck. Zanuck. Why else would the... Why else would the... Why else, why else would the plumb oh. bobs be pointed inwards? Zanuck. Why else? Zanuck. Please answer. Don't you understand? Yeah, Seriously. Yeah, I understand what you were saying. It's a great object. The ends plumb bobs go inward. The middle is straight down. It's not convex. It's straight by 20 thousandths of an inch. Do I have to say this a fucking right. thousand times? Yeah, is it, is it level, though? Is it level? No, it's not level. Oh, it's not it, level. I mean, it's straight it's around the curve. It's isn't not it? level at the ends. Yeah, it's it's the straightest yeah. thing in the universe. It's it no, just it's just universe. straight it's around the like, geoid. Straight. It's straight. It's yeah, flat. Right. Meaning, it is the shortest distance between two points. So yeah, fight the flat that Earth is straight. straight. That is a line. Yep. It is a it's tangent. A it a is a tangent line. to the Earth. It's a straight curve a line. Tangent. What part of this don't you understand? It's a straight line, yeah? And it's curved. Straight line, yeah. yes. So it's point, the ball. Accuracy it's of 20 yeah. thousandths of an inch. It's about it. Accuracy a... of 20 thousandths of an inch. Why is the ball in the middle? So it's a curved straight line. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a straight line with no curve in it. It's a straight line with no curve. It follows the geoid of a thing, yet yet balls roll opposite to the It does not follow thing. the geoid. It follows a straight it's path. It's as straight as Luther Vandross. <laughs> straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Straight as an arrow. Flat. No variation. By 20 thousandths of an inch. Don't make me give that friggin' spec again. Fair 20 thousandths of an inch straightness. I mean, like you're obviously perfectly straight, but it is not level at the ends. The plumb bobs point inward. They point inward. All right, Zanuck. Thank because you. the geoid underneath is curved. Ooh. The gravitational lines are angled. That's why the ends Fair enough. How far plumb they, bob How far have they drop the lines down to figure that out? Learn something. How far, how far did they drop the, the plumb bobs to find out? The distance that's you know, at the you can bottom. use a bubble level, you can do whatever you want. You'll see what? the measurement is accurate. Hold on, hold on. You said that there's a plumb bob at each end, yeah. No, you put a plumb bob at each end, yes. They've right, done okay. That. And how far down do they go? Yeah, how far who down? cares? How far down? The line. Hold on, Red Ups. Hold on, Red Ups. Very accurate, they have a very accurate leveling tool that shows 
the degrees that they are off, and they're off How by about far feet. down. A few feet. Oh, is that it? Yeah. <laughs> so they've gone two miles laterally, level yes. maybe, and then they've gone two foot, measured that, and said, "Oh, there's a bit of an angle there." You measure the angle. It's Plum a bit of an angle there, there. and Plum Bob's oh, measure shit. angle very accurately. Put a ball you know on that. that, and you whoa. know this. You can hang a rolls ball in. Ball. Hold on, you can have a plumb. The builders are going. Yeah, yeah, that's that's leveled. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, within a thousandth of an inch. Yeah, I will the flattest thing in this galaxy. Mate. <laughs> What's these balls roll? <laughs> People always mock what they don't understand. <laughs> oh God! Does anybody on the other side or anybody understand what I've said besides these three yes. clowns? Who's that? that? I, I don't think it's that they don't understand. I think that they don't very understand. Long, and in my opinion, <laughs> so I did, I did ask who agreed oh. with Zanuck, but I, I wanted I didn't I didn't want that explanation to roll on by and then him ask that question because I need it to be in your so mind you that the yeah. actual thing. Hold on, hold on. The actual thing that would actually be happening. He's saying the ball would go to the middle of this thing. Yeah. Now. Anyone who's a logically, a uh, rationally thinking person, you, you know the only reason that that's going to happen is because you have this thing curving upwards on both sides. It's not going to be curving the opposite way, and then oh, the ball is going to roll to the middle. That would never left, happen except left. for in so this explanation. Wrap, so this is like, like, wrap come on. It's either level or argue it. So you can't yeah, understand the concept. I, I'm I'm not going to wrap my head around that. That's the thing. I'm not. I'm not going to wrap yeah, my head yeah. around that. When I know that that's, that's not the case. Right. That's like that's, that's like saying healthy. that's like that's like you telling me somebody died and then their body literally uh, floated up into the no. air until you couldn't see it anymore. Like. And then it's you like give me a damn good explanation. Object. And then you it's give me a damn object. good explanation on the no. back of a napkin. Yeah, yeah, and right. then you no, say, no, you Elijah, listen, Elijah, based on this explanation, Elijah, it makes sense. Elijah, we have a we tangent. We know what that word uh, means. I wasn't yeah. finished. That's why I got louder and louder. <laughs> so we have a tangent. And it's on top of a sphere. <laughs> it means we're on top of a sphere. And the tangent is where it touches, right? At that point, we have a geoid, a geoid, a um, or, or thought, um, orthometric relationship, which is a perpendicular to the plumb bob, right? An orientation perpendicular to the plumb bob. Anywhere else on that, you will see an angle of that plumb bob inward because beneath it is a curved gravitational field. That's why. In your model, uh, yeah, yeah that's you're that. right. Okay. So as long that's as in your model. Hey, as long as we understand the model, that's fine. But that's what we see in reality as well. You said they only measured two. Uh, uh, uh. That's where I disagree. You don't think they've measured that? You don't think, reality you don't think that object reality. measured that I'm telling you? I I think you've probably got your story that's what wrong. I'm saying. Yeah, I understand no, it too I'm because the, 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 the way you're describing it, the way you're describing it is anybody. hitting the rest of us. Find you find go find a find a surveyor. Go ahead. I challenge you. Bring him back here, and I'll chat with him. And they will they will agree with me on every. But what's your? But the way you're explaining it is is resonating to all of us the exact same way because the obvious no, question would incorrect. be what i just said no you and said then you're like you. all you do you is re-explain what you've already explained you that doesn't change the fact that a ball going to the middle of this thing is fucking nuts yeah no because based on your explanation because even you can you can re-explain it but i'm still going to be like okay yeah, but how does on. that make sense God. The fundamental difference in our perspectives is that we just refuse to presuppose the ball. You don't have to. The plumb line is altered as you leave the center to the ends. And it's most dramatic. That doesn't end, happen. Verticals are parallel. Hey, hey, don't interrupt me. The, <laughs> plumb line, the plumb line varies as you leave the center, Elijah. And as you get to the ends, it is the most dramatic. Is the most angle at the ends. Well, that down, is why it would go down, down, though, wouldn't it? On the right. ends. Stop. So why is the ball in the middle? To have a gravitational <laughs> equilibrium, and that gravitational equilibrium opposite. for the ball will be at the center and only at the center. <sighs> I got to say, can I say, um, I've really enjoyed having a chat tonight. I, I'm, I hope I haven't offended anyone by my raised voice. Uh, I'm not used to this sort of thing. So, um, but no, thanks for uh, um, taking part, everyone. 
Yeah, good on you, bro. You and you. You, you didn't yeah, raise yeah, your voice problem. loud enough to to upset me. I don't know about. Well, yeah, Zanuck, no, you know, Zanuck might get offended. Not when you talk over people, it's just rude. Yeah, you do it all the time. Yeah, no, I know. I try to stop. Talking over people, people is rude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Redux. If I talked over you. Sorry, Zanuck. If I talked over you, uh, Funk, um, and anyone else. Okay, yeah, you you practically spoke to him. Like Funk said before that he understood what Zanik was saying, but can can you have a go at explaining it then, Funk? Because Zanik doesn't seem to be able to get it across to us what he's talking about. I we can explain it we can't reason. understand how he has it, the ends pointing inwards and then have the balls rolling towards the centre. What Can you Zanuck explain is that, please? What talking about is they dug a very straight line. That's it. Yep. That's all what he's trying to get to. But, is from but how? Explanation. But one seems they to contradict the other. Do you not see line. that? Do you not see the way the, the plumb line contradict the, what the balls are doing? Oh, and sure then that also, also contradicts when he says it's dead flat. I'm sure we can also prove uh, it's wrong by building a particle accelerator that is better, but... Uh... What? No, I don't think he's a talking about the particle accelerator bit. He's just talking about it being... He says it's level, or like it's the flattest, straightest thing, but then the ends have verticals that point together, which would seem like that as a curve. Would That yep, would yep. necessitate a curve. And uh, oh, sorry, sorry, but... balls move to the center. Of that so that's three different things that are happening. He's got he's taking convex, concave, and level. He's oh, got all three and water. It's not that it's not that difficult to understand. Bev. You have a straight object, and it's it's basically a yeah, tangent. That's amazing, is what it is. It's a straight it's object amazing. that curves both ways. It doesn't curve. It's straight as an arrow. It's, it's oh basically a tangent. God, please. It is a tangent on a curved surface, both physically and gravitationally. It's called it has equal the equal potential. The equal potential points on the on the uh, 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 surface beneath you is curved, but the plumb lines are angled oh. inward at the ends. So that's it's not convex. It's not concave. It's straight as an arrow. What's beneath it gravitationally is angled. Yeah. Are the ball still rolling towards the center? The ball rolls to the center, yes. Right, brilliant. So that again, once again, you've just covered all three options there. No, because you can that's part of the demonstration they do. They go to the ends and they, they put the ball on the ground and it rolls like you know, ten or fifteen feet. Like it's got it 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 has as much it has as much inclination gravitationally so, as so, the Nile River. So no, no, no. So the only as thing as that as has as real as world, as world as oh, the only what? thing that has real world, the only thing that has um, real world uh, uh, interaction is the fact that you see the ball stop in the middle. The, you so you couldn't come up with a better explanation than it's all three. They have a plumb line, a plumb line that is angled inward at the ends. I, I hear, I hear, I hear yeah, all of well, that. There's no explanation. But what I'm saying, let's, I'm about magically, focusing on what the ball does. You like to focus on physics. Well, yes. the ball goes to the middle. Why would it do that? Like because, you have some other theoretical the explanation equal, as to the why. The lines of equal potential, the lines of equal equal potential are oriented inward. They're all inward until it gets to the center, where it's straight down. The orientation at the center is a tangent, and it is perpendicular to plumb. That orientation is, is, is the plumb line plumb. at the end. Is the plumb line at the end perfectly square? No, it's angled with, inward. So, but it's not square with the with the object. No, it's angled in terms that's not of its direction. Pointing. It's angled inward. Yes. Do you understand the question I'm asking about yes. whether it's square? Yes, with it's not the, square. The, uh, he says object it's coming with in the, with the line. It's, the, uh, it's angled inward. The plumb line is inward. It's, 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 not, the it's not perpendicular to the. It's not perpendicular to the object, which is the straightest object in the universe that we know. 
within 20 thousandths of an inch. I reckon they um, had some dodgy builders in, mate. Yeah, yeah. No. They've, 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 the structure yeah. itself is built yeah. around it. It also is reasonably... They've had someone like Zanuck in, haven't they? But you can do the same thing. Like you've, are you sure you've done this, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah well, you, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You don't really <laughs> seem to know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, no loads. What do you mean? I've got a... Yeah, uh, a yeah the equipotential of the plumbob uh, and yeah. verticals and the... You know, yeah. Have you seen how many oh. pens I've got in my top pocket? <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm wearing my white coat today. Clipboard. Oh, yeah. you, and, uh, you and Riley, right, with a white coat? Or a sleeping warrior? Or whether <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> Zanuck you builders. Imagine? He says all of this, all of this. Everybody's looking at him over the years. Oh, that babbling fool. What is he talking about? Then he builds the Hydron Collider and shit. <laughs> like, Who's that? <laughs> that the that was a bad joke. Yeah. Riley's going to build a Hydron Collider. <laughs> yeah, make, sure, make sure it's straight, convex, concaved surface that it's when you finish no there's no shape differential there's just basically straight straight line flat straight tangent no see like you don't, don't seem to understand that your it has to be it's a tangent it has, it has to, to be, be. Yeah, there you yeah, go. well done that's it. well it has to be you're, you're yeah, of course okay. it has to be it's, it's, it's a part of fit around that model about? hasn't it, it? Has to be. can't be any variance at all and it's in a vacuum by the way too it's in a vacuum yeah, they have a, the tube is a, it has a vacuum too. Uh, inside it. it, like it's not in a vacuum, is it? No, inside is a vacuum. Inside the tube is a vacuum. Oh, so that's like the longest vacuum they've got. Yes. Sweet. And you should see the steps they take to construct those tubes to keep that thing to be nice does, and straight. Does stuff in the vacuum miles? go towards the center? Why do you talk over here? Come on, talking. Why? Because you're always talking. No. I'm making a point that in order right. to keep the thing straight within two miles, man, the machine they had to do was unbelievable. And that's why the ball sits in the middle. Because it's absolutely spot on level. Yeah, perfect. Rolls, not level. Rolls to not the middle. Level. It's not level. In the middle, it's level. It's straight. It's, it's straight, but just level in the middle. It's <laughs> It's the it, it's the straightest thing in the universe. Just the middle of it is straight is uh, level. <laughs> and the and the, yeah, the ball stays in the middle. Yeah, yeah, the ball rolls towards the middle yeah, from the outside, the but the the vertical. So if you put a four foot level on the end, it would it would <laughs> not show level. That's what he's saying, yeah. But it's the straightest yeah, thing I, I, in the universe. But just, you, right? just the sense of it. Place, I'm taking a four foot level and I'm putting it on the end. And if it ain't level, well, honestly, get the builders back. Zanuck, do you reckon if you put a four foot level on the bit near the end, would it show level? And what kind of books would you have to bring with you to your job to keep it? Prop, prop the end up with your books. <laughs> and then dragged it all the way to the middle and then all the way. <laughs> and then filmed the bu bubble from up question? above. You'd see the bubble go from left to right. Yes, that's what happens. <laughs> yes. But it's straight. You put the level... If you put the level on that structure and moved it down one mile from the center, you would see the bubble move in the, from the center to one of the ends. But it's the you know like straightest thing in the universe, there. right? Yeah, how much did it cost Straight. to build? Pardon me? I'd like to just... Sorry. How much did it cost to build? Yeah. I would guess uh, a lot. Yeah, in, over in 1960, it was 1964. What, like tens of millions? I think it was over a billion dollars in today's dollars. Right. Okay, I wish they'd have just... Literally got a hose pipe, a real long one, got a water level, like filled up with water, and done it to that, and that would have been spot on, mate. That's all they had to do. And it would have cost... Yeah, you're telling that. Build a better accelerator. Yeah. And well... So can I quit on hose pipe and never sorted it. Can I just get this confirmed, right? This is the straightest thing in the universe, right, Zanik? Yes. And yes. if you... Like you say, if you put a level on one end, 
and move it all the way to the other end. The bubble would move from one side across to the middle. It would be at the middle, in the middle, and then it would move to the other side at the other end, yeah? Yes. Whilst exactly being right. the finally straightest got thing got in got it. the yes. universe. Yes. Right. You finally got it. You know yes. how to make a, a, a spirit level longer? Remember, do you, level is an do you know how to make a spirit level longer, Zanik? You would you would use it on a straight edge, wouldn't you? Right. And that would extend the level, wouldn't it? Now let's say you made this. Let's say you put so the, the bubble. The bubble level. wouldn't move, would it, yeah. Zanik? If it was hold, hold straight. Let me ask you a question. Stop for a second. Well, I never didn't do any more building. Let me, let me speak. <laughs> let me speak. If you made a level the same size as this structure, the bubbles in all sections would be going from the center to the outer portions of it oh. as you work your way to the end. I've got one bubble, so that particular on level. spirit level would not work very well, would it? It would if you had a massive straight, if you had a two mile straight edge, if you had the straightest thing yeah, yeah, in the yeah, universe yeah, yeah. as your yeah, straight yeah. edge, then yeah. You'd say, why are the ends not level in the center? Now you wouldn't. You'd go, yes, you would. Uh, we'll just get that straight edge. I'm here, today, on the I'm here today to tell you that That's that is off. Hey, Sorry. Hey, Zanuck, it's a good question. So you've got two mile level, and there's a bubble in the middle. Which way would it show it falling? Where would the bubbles be at the ends? No. Like, there's a bubble in the, the middle. The bubble's in the middle. The bubble's right in the middle, on the, in, the, in the center of this thing. Right, so it'll be straight then. And you've got a massive no, straight edge. Center. The straightest thing this in the center. universe. The outer bubble, hold on. The outer bubbles would not be in the center. What do you mean outer bubble? There's only one bubble. If you had, bu if you had bubbles. No, yeah, you put one. vertical there's bubbles on the other ah, ends, don't why you? Why you ask me a question? Let me finish. Fuck, why do you get that? There's only one bubble. That's the so thing. stupid. It's really, why? It's just annoying. You want to see if it's annoying. level? No, you want to twist Fucking it. Fucking annoying. So you ask me a question. I'm trying to respond. You talk over me. Great level. Let me answer. So don't interrupt me. No, I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> you ask me a question. I'm telling you the answer. No, I, I said one bubble. The, and yes, the bubble in the center would be right to the center. You're right. Right. Thank you. The bubbles on the end, however, would not be in the center. My yeah. level hasn't got bubbles on the end. Most bubbles do. Most no, they don't. Do. They're, they're for the perpendicular, not the horizontal. Yeah. They yeah. would not be level. Well, no, because they're for the horizontal. No, oh, sorry, the, perpendicular. The, no, the outside ones would not be in the center either. They would not be perpendicular. Because remember, the outside ones, like you said, are perpendicular. Einstein, they would be up or down in the bubble level as well. well there's only one bubble in the yeah. level, so... I like the way your straight thing isn't really straight. It's straight as an arrow. I like that. Well, it can't be. Oh, it's no, it's got to be arrow. curved. If the if the <laughs> bubble is different on the ends from the centre, then yeah, it's it's curved. That Zanik. Again, if you had bubbles at the end of the level, the level would show that it wasn't level at the end after all, would it be? No. The center is level. The ends would not be level because... Well, it's not straight then, Zanik. Get, get the builders back. They've, they've got it drooping. Hold on. Why do you put emphasis on the... Oh, who's that? Oh, is that mate? <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, you sound like you get your hand over your mic. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Sorry. Sorry, like Charlie Let's Brown. See, if... if, if if you have to, oh, right? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> the bubble on the ends would be pointed toward the outside, where the bubble in the middle would be in the middle. That's so how we bend them. Yeah. Look. Why so do you bad. gotta speak right in the middle of a sentence? I don't understand it. Because I was just saying it's going to be a bent level. No, I mean, I told you. I had a short little sentence, and, and you still got to fucking talk over me. Where, where would the bubble be on the outside? Would it be to further towards the outside? Yes. On the outsides? On the outsides. The bubble would be on the same side that it's on. What does that even mean? Well, I, I'm just imagining a spirit level. like, and So where, where's the bubble <laughs> within the spirit level? Is it on the side where it's going to? 
Oh, we're getting the finer details now. Well, I'm, I know how spirit levels work, as as do you. So, Zanik, where's where's the bubble? Further the towards the outside. outside. Not in the center. What? So, on the right hand side, you you go into the right hand side. Where would the bubble be? On the right hand side of the line or the left? It would be on the left. Who said that? Zanik. I told you. I, I, said, I said that. No, Zanik says it's on the right. If it goes no, to the right, the, the bubble right. goes to the right. To yeah? the outside, the yeah. outside of the level. Yeah. So if you're on the right, then the bubble's on the right, and you move all the way to the left, and the, the bubble goes to the centre, and then goes all the way over to the left, right? Correct. Yeah. Thank you. That's why the balls are rolling to the centre, mate. Right. It's concave. Isn't it funny how it does, it funny how it does that oh, with a perfectly straight out? <laughs> that's, perfectly Zanik, straight Zanik that's out. the wrong fucking bend, mate. No, it's not. It is. It's, yeah, it is. is, it? It is. <laughs> it's the wrong bend. You, you don't, you've you just proved to us that you haven't got a fucking clue. How do you, how, how Thank is you. The bubble, how is it wrong? If the bubble's on the right-hand side of the level... It means it's leaning to the left, yeah? What's that? The bubble goes to the high spot, you pillock. No, What's the high side? If it's on the left, it's pointing down to the center, to the right. The bubble, if you're looking at something, it's on the left. The bubble's up, that means it's pointing downward. That means that your, your, your slope is to the center, and that's what you'd see. So I'm not wrong. You guys are so stupid. <laughs> yeah, right. It's us. Oh, yeah, Seriously, obviously. You correct me and you even got it backwards. Have we not? Have we not got any ballers you into it? Uh, you said it was wrong. It's coming back, Zanik up here. I, I'm, surpri I'm su I'm not surprised. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let me point out. Let me point out, Zanik, that the 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 bubble is going to be up. Whether it's not going to be at the outsides at the tip if it's if it's pointing downward. What? Yeah, thanks. It would that. only do that. It would only do that if it was pointing up, if, if the ends were pointing upward. That's when the air would be up, not down. Ooh, that one also, if yeah. it's yeah. down, oh, Zanik, I don't even know. The, way. the pong bob <laughs> yeah. is pointing inward. That means the bubble is pointing outward. What's so hard to understand? Uh, yeah, talk to him unorthodox. Yeah, yeah. Hey, put, put him right. Listen. He's making you look stupid, man. Listen. Come on. No. We've been saying I'm all happy. along it's the concave, and he said no. Listen, listen. So for the plumb bob to point inward, the bubble has to be outward. What, what, why can't you understand basic concepts? So you're saying that the um, where the ball sits in the middle is lower than the two, the left and the right. What do you mean? You're lower? letting him have gravity as a fixed position well, directly below the Remember, center of that. There's a plumb bob um, on the outside. No, we just. We're just proving that the builders that are doing this job are absolutely shit. And Zanix hasn't got a clue what he's talking about. The bubble on the outside is to the outside. Oh, so it's leaning inwards? No, it's straight as an arrow. <laughs> Gets better. Straight as an arrow, but the gravity, but the plumb bob but that, but, goes inward. But that's the problem. If I have, if I have, plumb bob goes if I have inward. A if I have a, hold on, hold on. If I have hold a on. tank with the top, with and I fill it up with water except for like a bubble in each section. There's three sections, right? And I have uh, different levels of water, right? The bubbles are all going to be at the top. So for you to like, regardless of the, the whatever orientation of this thing that you're trying to say is straight, essentially. The bubbles would rise to the top, to the level. It yes. doesn't even have anything to do with whether. If you have a level, and at the end you had that level, if you measure it, the bubble would be to the outside, even though this object is straight as an arrow. That's because the plumb bob would be pointing inward. That's how it works, the inverse relationship. The plumb bob goes inward, the level bubble goes outward. That's how it works. It's gravity at a fixed that's position. Not, that's not how it works. Gravi it? Yes, that is how it works. Gravity 
is the plumb bob. Again, I've said this probably 40 times already. The plumb bob goes inward. You don't know what you're talking object. about. Why? I don't, because, I'm look, I don't think it's that we that the guys here don't. You said it'd be reversed. You even agreed with him. And that's wrong. There you also. go. Have a look. Yeah, because you I've said just done a picture of my level with yeah. the bubble on the outside. Can you see what angle that level is at to have the bubble on the outside, Zanik? This this would be on the yeah. right, wouldn't it? There you go. To the right. To the right. Yeah. So can you see what angle that's at? Yes, that would be the right hand side of this structure. So, like yeah, pointing inwards, pointing downwards. No, it's outwards. The bulb is going outward. Yeah, so it goes down towards the middle. It goes down toward the middle. Yes. What? Oh, this is changes everything. On, on both no. ends. It's concave. This is what we've been saying all along. This is why the balls the roll the to the center. So, why, so you're saying that it runs down to the middle then, basically? Yes. Thank yeah. you. Finally. Really? The well, ball rolls to the middle. Sense. Because that's what it looks like gravitationally. Like the St. Lawrence River. What? Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Zanuck, Zanuck, but the, the this thing, is gravity at the center of a your ball. Explanation. It's the wrong way. No, it's not the wrong way. It, it is. It's concave, you muppet. No. no, it's not concave because it's flat and straight. It, it is the right way the on the sphere line, model. The plumb line moves. How well, magically, the, the plumb level. line moves at the end. Why does the plumb be... line correspond? That's a level I just hit. The plumb line moves inward at the ends of the structure inward were you holding a level then tonic were you i have a level right here in my hand is it better than mine <laughs> no it's not as nice as yours mine is not green mine is clear this is oh, what you got? oh i see zanuck is right presupposing a ball and gravity at the center yeah, but why but is it concave? For Rams, but Rams, we measure it. We actually have surveyors that can take plumb bobs and do this measurement all over the earth. They, they've met, they have thousands of oh, millions oh, of... They can't oh, measure a concave surface all over concave. the earth, can they, you it's muppet? flat. I told you, it's the straightest object in the universe that we know of. If it's flat, yeah, and level, then there shouldn't be any turn on the it's bubble. It's not level. <laughs> so why did they build it unlevel? Because it's straight. Well, why didn't they just do it level? Because it'd be curved. If it yeah, level. yeah, I see. He doesn't. Oh, ah, I see. I see. Yeah. I yes. I got it. So, so straight means. 20 thousandths of an inch is level. You, ha you level. have to have a bendy straight. level in order to tell it straight. Man, yes, come on, spot on. You're right. It's bendy I level. Now. I get what Curves you're saying. are level. Yes, the you curve know, is level. Yes. Like, if you ever experienced that, that, spot on. Here's why we know this. Here's do, why we know this. Do they say, we're doing a particularly big building this week, right? So, on the south side, can you start off, like, a little bit off level? Put, put your, Set your levels to, like, one degree, sort of yeah. off. And then as you get sent nearer the centre, just adjust it and then once exactly, you get further exactly, back exactly what they do just to make sure it's straight yeah that's exactly what they do, exactly what they do. otherwise big buildings and the balls roll to the center and it doesn't happen you're doing a drainage run yeah for like a mile and you're running the main drain that's all you got to do is um keep it level yeah? no no curve. no it'll bend downwards no you don't have to keep it you don't keep it level you want to have a little bit of inclination <laughs> Gravi gravitationally, the geoid tells you what you have to do. Again, I pushed the book, try to take the test. But, the like test. that eight inches of level that you were talking yeah. about earlier, Zanik, yeah? Yeah, yeah, eight, 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 inches. eight inches of curve it's within the level the curve over that mile. Eight inches of equivalence. It's basically the same. same right, so if you're, if you're running a drain. Damn, if you, damn, if I was you, finishing a sentence. Yeah, but if you're running a drain, though, damn, from damn, one damn, side. Damn. Bam, How do you know which bam, way it's going bam, down? Bam. Stop! I'm not Zanuck. finished. Zanuck, stop blowing out my my He's got to stop. Bro, He's got to stop interrupting me. Stop shouting then. Stop! I don't like saying things twice. No, no, the way you, you, you say it about eight you times. Zanuck, I got eight and a half inches right here, and, and I have to admit it is curved. 
<laughs> anyway, so <laughs> that's your problem. That's her problem. So <laughs> now, is that what you said? It's her problem. Yeah, it's her yeah, vent, we gotta vent, have vent. a little bit of laughter in between this because this is tense. Yeah, I got some. Vent, I got a vent. Oh, what are we talking about now? Is it yeah, yellow that, and it peels? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Doesn't doesn't help it. Or so is it black? It's concave a little bit. It's was, it was, it was <laughs> a little concave. The ball said it's okay. Ball hits that G spot. <laughs> Right, okay, everyone's happy again now, yeah? Yeah, because you're talking about... See, see, when, when, when you're putting it down, that's why you hit the G-spot, because it's actually curving upwards, even though that's you're right. putting it down. That's right, exactly. You see, you broke the code already. You got it. Uh, yeah, and should we all just have 10 seconds to this? Just think about this think about straight, straight line that isn't level. <laughs> that's how we know it's straight. So we have engineers that actually measure this, surveyors that measure and see that at the end of straight objects or straight floors in large buildings, yeah, that they will be level on both ends, yet they will be curved. They bottom they, what they're facing beneath them is no. curved. In construction, Zanuck. That's yeah. That's that's how they measure straight. We put things in the no, they do. They they me, they know the curvature of the earth. They can measure this kind of stuff. This is what surveyors do. They want water to not pile up. In areas where they don't want it to pile up. Pile up. If you take that test, you'll see that very long straight objects are not level end to end. That's just fundamental knowledge of surveying. No, it's not. It's called it. Yes, it is. Well, they have. No, my God, yes, it is. Books yeah. and books are written. You never built a big building before. <laughs> oh, haven't I? Yeah. No, not a big. I building. suppose you have. How do you know? The house has. No, I'm saying surveyors have. Surveyors don't, surveyors don't build houses, Zanuck. Surveyors build a house. Surveyors don't build houses, Zanuck. No, they need to know where things will flood, and they measure these things. A, very a surveyor would come and survey the land, and then they say yeah. to someone like, "Spot on, can you yes. build this for us here?" And he go, yes. "Yeah, yeah I tell you what, give us, give us me benchmarks." So when the river floods, I don't yeah, want to. Okay. Well, well, what they say to me is like, we're going to put some datums around the site, and um, like, don't worry, like. It may look like it's bending, but it's not. It's actually straight. So when when you put the, when you get to the top on the plate height and you put the rafters on, like they might not all line up, but that's all right because obviously we're aware of the fact that it will be bending. That's what they say to us. That's what they say. So when. When were you so doing construction, Zanuck? So you'd have to take take this into account. I would think. You just all you do is a, if it's a bridge over water, you just measure from one side from the water line to your point, and your water line to the other side, and then you've got your level. Yeah. Because you might have to use you to the, the river's level, you see, crosswise. Unless it's, it might be flowing uphill though. You have to be careful. Like, there's there's a bridge that's like a, over a hundred kilometers or something, right? So I mean, that if it was round a curved, if it was a curved line, then it would be a lot longer. I it? think I mean? think that's just within the uh, boundaries of uh, flat planer surveying that hundred kilometers. I don't think the uh, they still assume a flat plane uh, when they're surveying. Isn't that right, Zanuck? You want, really good paper? you want a really good paper that has all the details you want to listen to? Here it is in the chat. If you're, I mean, if you're serious about this, and it sounds like you are, read this just, paper. Just, and then just call, call your local surveyors. Ask them. Yes, call yeah. them. They'll agree with me. everything I've said to the T. Nothing being incorrect. Nothing. They won't agree with you talking to a bunch of flat earthers for hours. You missed. You left that part out. That's true. <laughs> That is absolutely true. I don't think they'll be concerned about who you're talking to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bother telling them what you do in your in your spare time. That <laughs> they won't really be interested in that. Just stick to like asking them about surveying and how they survey. That that right. that would serve you better, I think.
what is the fundamental need for a surveyor? Is just to plot out a section of land and yeah, they they give you the datums within the land in order to tell you how high you know what what the land's doing. So that just pick a reference point and then just give give you the variation of the land. Yeah, yeah, and they'd, they'd let you know for drainage and all of that. You know, like where you needed. Uh, I, I presume they would have um, datums for the drains that are already there. So you need to plot out your drainage to meet the big drains. So, you know, you'd have to yeah. know all of the yeah, different well, levels. Like the main drain in the road, for instance, and then they'll come and, you know, like... Put the, so uh, have you ever heard of the state out. plan coordinate zones? The what? SPC 83, for example. Is that, is that America, that? Because we're, we're both yeah. UK, so... You probably haven't heard of it. No. So SP 80, SPC 83... NAD 83 and its reference ellipsoid GRS 80. I mentioned that earlier. If you understand this, they break every little segment of the earth into little squares and they basically break down those squares and tell you what the heights of all this land looks like. Yeah. Based on the geoid and based on the ellipsoid. Why do they give you two different models? You're not sure what... Why do they not just give you a map of what the land is? Like, because we have... Because gravitationally, the land... Like I mentioned earlier with the St. Lawrence... Two Denver, different shapes the land, of the land. You're, not, you're talking over me again. The land will not follow <laughs> the gravitational... the effect, Basically, the effective shape. Because we care about runoff. We care about where water goes. So that's what we need to know about the geoid and the spheroid. Or the ellipsoid, rather. Oh, you need to know. Nah, we talk about the actual. So, would you open that? Would you open that link, please? If you open the links, you can find out what I'm talking about and how it's broken down accurately, and it's depicted no. in a very easy to understand way. But it's, very, so it's not easy, is it? If there's two different yeah. models. You, see, this is it. Surveyors will just give you a map of the land. We, That's, we, they'll go like, "This is what you. This, this is, is what you need to know." Understand. There's a difference. I understand it. Others here understand it. You don't understand it. It makes perfect sense to me in your model. No, we measure it though. We can actually measure you, you it. You don't. Yeah, you no, don't. we do. We no. do. GPS for land surveyors. Go look it up. <clears throat> you can see about the equal potential heights. A point on the Earth's surface perpendicular to the ellipsoid or perpendicular yeah. to what? Did you hear what I said before about the, in the UK, 2003? They, they made a map, an OS net map, that it's a coordinate map. So they just transposed all of the details that they had for surveying onto this map. And now when they plot your position, they can do it within one to two centimetres. But the problem is... The because of the map. The ellipsoidal heights are not going to meet the equal potential heights. That's no, it's, it's just one map. You understand? It's just what, it's just one map. Over me once again, every time Nobody's I say nobody's ever building anything big enough for that to be an issue. Yes, your your house. Again your, hold on, your house next to it next to a um, a stream that maybe floods every winter once or twice. That is an ultimate importance to you to make sure you have to geoid to take into account rather than just the ellipsoid. And you can measure but, it with an instrument. But the that's instrument really comes. obvious. Hold on, I don't need hold on. to. You have the topographical surface, you have the ellipsoid, and then you have the geoid. These are different. No. These are different. No, right, listen, this is what you got. You got a water le level, yeah? And that's a datum that's, that they know of. It's been no, tracked. that's not and the datum. Hold on, don't talk over me. I don't like it. Right, so there's a datum that they know of that is water level or mean sea level, yeah? So these levels are already there. Yeah, they're based on water, which is actually level, right? So when you're building a house, you're aware of the height in which water rises if it's a flood area, etc. So there's nothing about geoids and ellipsoids. It's water level. You're being That's naive. It. You're being naive. No, you're over complicating. No, you're being naive because that's exactly what they don't do. It just doesn't <laughs> seem to be something that you would need to take into account. You tell a person... You can just work off a flat... So, they they don't take it into account. 
It's only it's only in the minds of, of Discord lunatics. Something greater than a flea. Because you open that link and you go to like the third section where it talks all about the ellipsoid verse and the GPS for land surveyors. And then, let me finish. Don't talk over me. So it goes from land from the GPS receiver, GPS for land surveyors, and it compares that with the geoid. Once you understand this, you will get it. Just go and ring up your local surveyors and ask them if they've ever. Yes, and they understand this very well. That's it. And there's a part. There's a part in the test I gave you guys on that paper that talks about this. What you would do if you understood what the geoid looks like near your house, near a river. And it's very important so that you don't flood your house. Yeah. Well, how about this then? I've got a P1000. How about oh yeah, P1000? So they have all the answers. I got P1000. I've taken an observation of a lighthouse that I can see for like, you know, like 18.9 miles away, and that shouldn't be there. So what do you say to the that? Geoid, the geoid. The geoid. Would you say it one more time, please? I've got an observation of nearly 19 miles, whereby a lighthouse should be behind the curvature of the Earth, and it isn't. Why don't you show me that picture of 19 miles? Go ahead. You, you, have your, you, you, you think you have your 19 miles? Your P9000. Go ahead, post the picture. Let's talk about where it's taken and how far away it was, okay? I won't be doing that. But I mean, isn't that something that you, you should, here, you know, here, should be a rare, rare thing? I mean, let me, let me, uh, let me yeah, see one more thing here. It's not worth wasting it on Zanuck. The G, no. so, so Noah has the GOA 90 model. It was computer the curve, 90, it should be let me finish. Everywhere. Let, me finish. let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. The geoid 90 model was computed at the end of 19, 1990 over a million gravity observations. It was followed by the geoid 93, which was computed in 1993, obviously. Five times the number of gravity values used to create the geoid 90. And this is a grid of geoid heights, values in three minutes of latitude by three minutes of longitude. Well, we need more gravity on that. Let me finish with an accuracy of 10 centimeters. This is very accurate stuff, my friends. Just because you don't understand it doesn't make it not so. Just calm down, mate. Yeah. Do you reckon they'll have more gravity on the next one? All right, I'm going to go to sleep. Good night, guys. Good night. See you later. Later, relax. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here. But, um, yeah, nice talk to you. <sighs> I want to do a lighthouse picture. Yeah, later, dude. Where's that yeah, picture well, of the 9,000? What's the lighthouse? Yeah, um, it's uh, 1,000, mate. Let's see the lighthouse. Let's see it. Yeah, I'll do, an, I'll do a presentation. I'll put it out. No point let's see the, let's picture. see the picture. Go ahead. One picture is going to be good enough for you. Isn't you said you're so proud of this picture. Do you think you'd have it? Well, he's got tons of pictures. Where's the access? Where's don't, the don't worry. Don't worry. Where's the picture at? Let's see it. You like yeah, lighthouses you know, too, Zanuck. It it's a great picture. Yeah. You're so proud of it. You see a, a lighthouse, you shouldn't exactly, see it. Exactly. I'm not proud of it. I, said, I, wasn't, I didn't say I was proud. I said, I've got an observation. Where is it? Show it to us. Oh, it's there just are hundreds, hundreds of examples of this sort of observation. Exactly. Oh, oh, you mean like this one? Been... You mean Sorry, observation? That, from... That's unusual, though, guys. you got to at least exactly. admit, this isn't the norm. The norm is a close horizon. Close yeah, horizon. Well, that's not the norm at all. Observation. There's, there's, there's three miles away. Who assumes a close horizon? Is it a whale? There's twenty miles away right there. There's my twenty miles away. Is it a whale? There's my twenty miles away. I have a picture. I show. I got it before you did. What is it? A two hundred foot boat that's missing. All I see is the smokestacks up top. Oh, it looks like a load of um. Sort of mirroring or something happening there. There's no, no mirroring. It's twenty miles away. Yeah, it looks like a bit of swell there as well. I think. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. swell wouldn't do that. A little, little bit of a wave, yeah, yeah. close. Picture yeah. four. There we go. That's, that's what we're at. What it was. Uh, and suddenly, it no distortion. Might have been. Um, are gone. It could have been a geoid lump. Do you reckon? Nope. Oh, nope. could have been on that geoid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A hundred meters. Definitely. Oh, exactly. Massive that, geo, that, geoid lump. Get your pictures up again of that geoid. I'll, I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you the picture, the one that will cover that. All the way around the world. I've got you covered, Zanuck. We, we're, we're right. Sorry. Yeah. Nope, that doesn't do it. There's so many ways to explain it. All I'm saying is that level is massive, man. There you go, that one. That sea surface. It could be on that. See the geoid lump on the right-hand side? You go, that, the boat's on the other side of that. The, 
the sea floor topography could have had a bit of a lump. That's a great example. Yeah. yeah actually, have you guys have you guys seen the um? Is it um? Um, someone. Oh God, what's his name? It's someone of Australia. Uh, oh, Mitchell. Mitchell from Australia. He's got a good one on um, like ang angles. He does a good gravity uh, one as well. Things disappearing from the bottom up. Have you seen that, Zanet? Have you What's seen that? the way that have you seen um Mitchell from Australia's video on um the way things disappear from the bottom up? What things disappear from the bottom up? Well, just object. No, I just showed you a boat from the bottom up. I showed you there's two hundred foot of the boat missing and yet the smoke. Yeah, this is exactly what I just there. said to you. Have you seen Why do you gotta talk over me? Because he he asked you had you seen something. I told you I showed a picture of a ship missing two hundred feet. Yeah, and I said, have you seen the video that Mitchell from Australia is showing? Why don't you post it? You keep on talking uh, about the things you have. You don't have anything so far. No, I, I wondered if um, you'd seen it. Save me post I've it. seen a lot. I've seen all the major videos, but I don't, maybe I've seen it. Maybe I, I haven't. Did you see, have a look at the video that I posted in there where the, uh, a guy yeah, rings up the, the surveyors. Have you, did where? you ring? Did you watch that one? Where? It's a Level Earth Observer. Where? How far up? Oh, yeah, that one? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, make, make sure you watch I that. that. I watch everything. I, I pay attention here. You don't have to tell me three times. I understand the first time. Can you tell us which which of the surveyors that you call? Because they don't seem to think there's anything. I was going, but I will send this to you so that you can witness something disappearing. Bottom up. Sailboats. Sailboats in the offing. So you have this guy doing a, a, a crank call to the surveying office? It's not a crank call. Talking to the secretary, now he's going to talk to you. Yeah, he's going to talk to the surveyor. Hey, what does the surveyor say? Well, you listen, <laughs> you'll find out. So he's a boundary surveyor and he doesn't take into account, he assumes the world is flat, that's how they do their work. That makes sense for them. They're not the, a, 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 a USGA, a GS. You'd think they might surveyor. bump into a little bit of curvature though, wouldn't you? No, not when you're doing. They wouldn't need to know. Not right? enough for boundaries, no. No, okay. It's, it's not enough to worry about. The area the air is so small, you don't worry about that. Okay. If you're talking about land surveying for flow of water, absolutely. Wouldn't take more. Don't talk over me. It wouldn't take more than an hour. I mean, a uh, an acre or two for that to be a real problem for you. So yes, the geo needs to be taken into account if you have an acre of land near a river. Does that make sense? What do you think boundary surveyors do, Zanik? Zanik. So, are mall parking lots not level? I'm watching the rest of that video. He's talking about GPS. Uh, you know, what about mall parking? Yeah. He says, for typical boundary serving, you know, it doesn't matter. That's what he's saying right now. Yeah. Yeah, they don't figure it in. It's... That's Not what I was saying before. There. Yeah, all, all the cars in the all the cars in the parking lot just like kind of roll into the middle. You know what I'm saying? You'd have to be building something ridiculously massive to to, to need to to counter that in. You don't. Well, you don't. That's the whole point. No, you don't. They you don't, don't figure it in I'm, anywhere. I'm in only in their model. Yeah. yeah no, you would model. need to figure it in if you were doing drainage. Damn right, you'd have to know about that. And yeah, when you think about drainage as well, <laughs> drainage would work from a different point. Because if it if level curves, then what does the water level do? And like the water wants to flow which way? It depends where you're stood. 
It just doesn't make any sense for drainage. You won't understand that. Yeah, I don't believe water's curved, hey. Yeah, it just can't work. I don't see it demonstrated either. No. It should always be demonstrable. But can you imagine if, um, so if you're on a ball and you've got like, you've got your house, yeah, and you want to run a drain to uh, a lower point, yeah? So the water's running down to the drain, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah of course. Right, from my point. But, so if I was at that drain and I wanted to run a drain to the my house, yeah, the other way, how would you work that out? Yeah, it'd have to go the other way. It's ma it's mental. It's like if you <laughs> if you run a drain a mile away and you have it yeah. running down eight inches in that mile, then you walk to the other end of it. Yeah. Then, like that eight inches on the model that Zanik has has disappeared. Exactly. It's not run okay. down at all. That's your evidence. And no, the eight inches going. would have to go the other way downhill. What are you talking about? It's, it's mental. Your model no, doesn't no. make sense, Zanik. They, sense. They, the, the reason they don't do anything with your model in reality is because it doesn't work. They it just does work they do it doesn't it. work at you all. You don't know. You mock them. You're confused. No. To what he's saying. Used? I just told you it's used on a piece of land near a river. Absolutely. Zanek, listen to uh, Bev explain about a level from drainage from one end to the other over a mile. Eight inches full, yeah? The longer you go, the worse it gets. Yeah. No, let's see. Everywhere it could be level every single point of the way. <laughs> yeah, right? That means it followed the, it followed no, the, it, it, um, it's drainage, Zanik. It being yeah. level is useless. It wants to some, drop. Have some, yes, we have some change versus level. Yeah. Angle, but if you don't figure uh, a curve in, you're you fine. You don't want every point to be perpendicular to the plumb because that orientation would be stagnation of water. <sighs> All horizontals are parallel in no, surveying no, that's no, that how no, it no, works no, zanik no. parallel to what sorry babe. a horizontal yeah you're wrong sorry you're wrong i just wanted that's to get not that the way it works to you. and i encourage you to call a surveyor that's zanik yeah. that's the only way it works because that's how you measure a change in altitude from a altitude? another altitude point is above sea level. no it's no it's just a difference in height from a datum oh you're talking about elevation you're talking about elevation then get your words right altitude is what we use in aviation give us a no uh, altitude is what what they use in like it, height above sea you level know. you don't even know so why do you even start continue this conversation we're talking about it for three hours now, and you still don't get it. Zanuck, there's a there's a video for you to watch. I've posted a few spawn times. Maybe have a look at. It. And how how do you explain away the surveyor saying that he surveys on flat land? I... He said he does things over small areas. Even when it came to water, he said a half mile long lake won't make a bit of difference. Yeah. So he asked about the curve calculator. He didn't know. This guy's yeah. not a guy dealing with flat earth people. Yeah, He's no, that's, that's, the no, he he, he, he hey, that's the majority. Of he doesn't. He doesn't. The majority of surveyors have no idea about the globe. Stop talking over me. Hey. He's on a small scale. He's a surveyor. He knows how to get bound. He, his specialty is boundary. His boundaries. He doesn't deal with curvature. He's not doing land surveyor. Things that have to use the GPS datum and curvature numbers from the geoid. I gave you all the values. Read that paper. Do yourself a favor. Learn something. Zanik, if, the, if it was dirt. figured in, do you not think he'd know? Dirt. You know why you're dumb as dirt? Because you won't oh. open a freaking document to learn something. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to continue to be dumb until you oh. open a fucking book and learn something. So in other, words, in other words, which was the question, I think, at the beginning of this is, do surveyors take into account the curvature of the Earth? 
Well, the answer is simply no, because it's no, not it necessary. No, it depends on the surveyor. No, it, uh, it depends on the <laughs> surveyor. It depends yeah, on the surveyor. Of the guys that do it depends surveyor. on the surveyor. Yeah. It depends on the surveyor. Read the book. There's freaking thousands of pages of this shit. Oh, yeah. Loads of thousands of pages of shit. Yes. Exactly. Because people don't want their houses flooded next to a river. It's not it's nothing to do with flooding, Zanik. Do that. That's not all surveyors. That's, that's not all they're worried the about. Type of surveyor that you're talking three. about. Go to chapter that's... three of the, G the GOI and potential discussion. You'll figure it out. Until then, Rams... you'll be confused. Rand's call about it sussed earlier. When he said that, you know, Zanik hasn't got a clue. Open the, open the, open the document. I gave, I'll, I'll do it again. Here's the document. Open it up. There it is. This is a good paper. I encourage you to read it. Your choice, but I would encourage you to open it up and learn something. This has all your questions answered, especially the last, last paragraph of this very lengthy paper. Just scroll to the end and you can get all your so answers. If, if one of us. If one of us reads it and then based on what we've read, we decide that it doesn't make any sense and we don't agree with it, what do you suggest we do then? Do you suggest that we're just simply stupid? No, no. I, I would suggest at that point to get a professional surveyor to explain to you the things that you're confused about. Doesn't mean you're stupid, just means you didn't understand it. This isn't easy stuff. Who, which like which surveyor did you talk to, Zanik? But I didn't say. But I didn't say whether or not I understood. I said, "What if I read it and disagree?" Well, then if, you disagree if you okay, that's a great point. If you disagree, mark down those points that you disagree, and let's get a professional surveyor so we can explain it to you to see if that can change your mind, or maybe it won't. But at least you should understand. Um, if you get, if you get a chance, then can you send me the uh, link to well, my, to my uh, DM? Absolutely. Thank you. Zanik. No problem. Really good article too, but it's really well, well written and it's not too not too uh, technical. In Zanix presupposed heliocentric model, then what he's talking about is what we should see in that model. I just don't agree with the model because I don't think it's been proven. I don't think there's any evidence for it. In fact, there's a lot of evidence against it. No, there's a lot of evidence for it too. I've shown you my evidence. So to say no evidence is a lie because I've shown you evidence. You don't have to. A agree lot of with that it. evidence is presupposed. No, 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 no. You can't just take any question. You can't just you can't you can't just toss it out as not evidence because you don't like it. Remember, like even like how. Um, Elijah just said he could read over it and disagree with it. You can disagree. That's with why. Him. That's why we have it's the evidence. scientific method. But no, that's not, not what you're appealing to. No, no, that's no. not why you're appealing to. But but at, but at the same time, yes, I, I can look at, I can listen to someone, and then point out the fallacious reason. So if there is any fallacious reasoning in someone's uh, explanation, or someone who's trying to teach me something. If I pick up on any fallacious reason that I pointed out, that's an issue. You can't say, no, it's not an issue because yes, of you're all right. the other you're right. fallacious points that make sense yeah, that's, that's when you put them all together. That means you're paying attention and you're using your reasoning to decide what you're listening to is either, you know, makes sense or doesn't make sense. But I hope that you would, if you question something, that you ask questions to clarify whether you're understanding it, which the person that's presenting it is presenting it to you. So I just posted a, a, a trail car going over a hill, and it looks basically identical to what you see boats going over the rise. And, and you got to at least, you know, you can't just say we're crazy for saying that. It looks fucking identical. I mean, if it was a sphere, that's what we would see. You guys have to kind of come up with, like, a very a strange explanation for why we why we see that. I was also thinking another way you could prove it. And you could travel, you could travel an equidistant, um, you know, basically north of the equator and south of the equator at a given latitude. And if you traveled a set amount of, of basically longitude, of, of north and south, then the only shape it could be would either be a sphere or a, a, a tube, basically, a cylinder. So you said this. Do what? 
is to ignore and only. I mean, isn't that right? So, like, if we took a point, let's just say, like, of information at the, at right? the 20th parallel, really right? And you went 200 miles east, right? And then you went below the equator. Why did it's not Elijah? What? Yeah, I, basically, no, what I, I was saying, let me, let me, which, uh, which, which, back hold on, back. Elijah, I can't hear you. Yeah. Hold on, let me drop back, come back in. Yeah, yeah. Basically, my point was going to be, that was exactly my point to Zen. If your explanation is going to have it affirming the consequent fallacy, and I pick up on that, I'm not going to listen. I well, thought the I, interesting... I would personally listen, but, but, but everyone's not going to listen. I thought it was interesting. He said we come up with all these complex explanations, yet he, like, as if he thinks the curve is like the simple explanation. As if living on a ball is a simple explanation. It is for both of the stuff. The flat Earth. Are you kidding me? That's like the most complex explanation. Flat Earth is no, also okay. complicated. The problem is that you don't have flat any Earth explanation. Flat Earth is simple. Come on. It works. Yeah, but that's because you can't explain well, Imagine the water all being well, level well, and well, the well, land well, rising well, from it. Also yeah, what, what? You have no explanation on anything about Earth. You guys don't even have it there. It's yeah, we have every yeah, you map. Know, you can't explain anything. Uh, do you do you it. guys have any curved maps? It's called a globe. No, that's a globe. That's a model, like we said before. Well, you can project the globe on the a flat map. Actual yeah. map. Yeah, you can project the globe on the flat map. On globe or on like a curved map. It's won't, it won't be a curved if you want a flat yeah, you map. Can't, you can't flat. map a curved surface on a flat map, can you? You can, but... You not, can, no, but no, you can't. It won't no, be 100%. Not accurate, right. 100 but correct. the maps that we have are if you're gonna have really map, accurate. Especially yeah, in the UK. Map, super accurate. If you want no, the map not. over your hometown, it's going to be pretty much... No, like the whole of the UK. Yeah, well, that is going to be how much... Because that's all they do is they take oh. little parts of it and they change the map that way, oh. don't they? That's much. where they print different oh. bits. You can have a number. How much area How much area is the UK compared to the rest of the globe? Oh, you say just the UK must be flat then? I, I mean, is that... Oh, I, can, I can fully accept that, if that's what you think. Like, all the water okay, in the UK you, level. Did you, how did... Uh, it's how did just a... Way back in the day... Okay, Do so I'll answer them. That weren't okay. based on spheres. This is my question. I can't I ask a question? I mean, because... Uh, yeah, right, I'll go ahead. Yeah, my Google question will be here. <laughs> they got lost a lot. Yeah. Did they ever do any on curved maps? Any old curved maps? And they thought we best no, we, we best that. map this onto a curved surface. Otherwise, it won't be accurate at size. all. It's not accurate. I, I, all I, maps I, are I, accurate. I, no, the UK they had to but do like I the say they had to triangulate accurate. it twice. The maps right now aren't accurate. You know how many maps there are no. right now. That that's why you can't have a uh, paper based. That's why that's why Google Maps data calculates data. and changes the data as it sees fit. Because if you were to put it on a map, you would have to have different maps if you're going into different geographical. Yeah, that's right, you know it's not flat. Well, to, you to have that better. though. That's why you can put Greenland. If you put Greenland over uh, Africa, it's going to look like it's uh, just as uh, half the size of Africa, even though it's much smaller. Hello? Hello? Yeah, I would say that's how you know it's flat, right? Because every flat map is distorted. To me, that's like that's base one for flat Earth. To say it's flat, you got to at least, the very, very least, give us a map. That's step one. Yeah. Every map is flat. That's because the water <laughs> level <laughs> works and the contour the lines no work. Flat. There's you no distortion. You can't say that. Over there, there's no distortion. Paper, hence, the earth is flat. There is no distortion. Sorry, man, that argument is... All, all, yeah. all distances are calculated by straight lines. Yeah, but those aren't accurate, are they, though? Yeah. Not over long uh, distances. In the UK? 
No. Yeah, we've got the, probably got the most accurate maps to, that there is. When we travel to Korea, I couldn't use a flat map for Berlin. Do they have a we curved map then for Korea? No. Oh. No. Well, I, don't, I don't know what the Korean surveying people I don't are like. I mean, it, but that's what it depends on. But it depends on this, the, the quality of the surveyors. But the shortest that in, path make the map. This looks like it's straight on a flat map. So that should be like some kind of hint that the Earth is maybe not uh, based on that. Well, the shortest map. distance between two points is as as the crow flies on a map, and you you measure it. That's why maps have scales on them, so you can accurately plot them the points. Yeah, but I'm talking about uh, for example when you're moving at upper the northern hemisphere, uh, when you have it. Um, the shortest distance from A to B. That's not the same on the flat map as on the globe. On the globe, it's a straight line. On the flat map, it's not a straight line. I don't know. Well, I haven't got a clue what you're talking about. Can you do some pictures? I don't understand what you're talking about. A distance between one point and another point isn't a straight line on a flat map. No, that's because you can't, as you said before, you can't present a uh, predictable uh, globe on a flat map. Yeah. Yeah, that's why they don't. That's why they just map the land and put it on flat maps. That, that's why they make flat maps. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They make flat maps because... Because they, the people that map the land, that is the best way to represent the land that they map. For what area are you talking about? Airplane? For, for every, every map maker, that's what they do. But but look, here's, here's, here's another thing you're not taking into account. Nobody uses a ball to navigate, ever. It, it, it would no, they use a, they they're using a computer-based a map. map system, or they have uh, maps. But this, is, they have but this is what you're saying. You can use a piece of paper... You can use a piece of paper yeah. to get you from point A to point B. But no, it but won't work over, the whole, over a large area, though. Yeah, it does. And That's what they've always done. In, on, in the boats and everything, they had navigation charts. you never seen them with the compass and the protractor. Yeah, but those... Yeah, straight, straight lines. That's what they were doing. They don't work over That's all distance. they ever have used. All maps uh, are yeah, flat. Those, those are based... On a globe? No, they're not. Initially, they're not. Okay, have you so have you ever seen an atlas and you see the distortion level. of the pro, uh, the projection? But how? Why are? If you open up a flat a world map, why are it, are they distorted at the top and at the bottom of the map? That, that, you mean you the marcade projection? For example. Yeah. There, because they've been projected from a globe, they're absolutely mental. Nobody in the right mind would use that as a map. Not over small distances. No, it's not practical. It's not practical so at all pro because it's a projection so of of a so model. No, that's, that's uh, why all maps are flat. Of a globe. Because they're, they're a better pr a better predictor for what the land's like. But why all maps is the globe? Maps. Yeah. Why is the globe? What the, globe? the globe's uh, your model. That's not our problem. No, it, why is that right. predicting? Why? Uh, why do you not use a globe for oh, for measuring oh, things? Why do you not have any curved maps that you can turn to and go, look, this map is way more because, accurate than your flat maps because it it models go, the land properly. If I'm going for a two-hour drive, it doesn't matter why, if I use it. Why can we never? Map. Why can't we even buy today? A two scale globe model. Why why is that not possible? Do you mean a globe? Yeah, a two scale globe model. What do you mean by two scale globe model? Like two scale. Like you know, like you can get a two scale car yeah. model. You mean a oh you mean to scale? Okay, you can yeah. just buy a globe. No no that's not to scale. Yeah it is. No, it's not. It's not. Yeah, it, it just says something for educational that's, purposes that's just, only. That's, it's ridiculous. It's not. That's not two size. scale. That's the scale. The, the continents are the wrong size. They're not the right size. 
Uh, North America is usually too big. They draw it as if it's a uh, half the size of Africa. On a world map, on a world map, third. Yeah. On a world map, yeah. But also, oh, Queensland. It, also, Queensland is way too big. It's a little island, and they make it look like it's this huge, you know. That's, uh, a, that's uh, the projection, isn't it? Yeah, it's the um, a projection, projection superimposed yeah. into a globe. Yeah. Why would you project a flat map on a globe? What's the point of that? Why would you project a, um, you know, a globe map that way that is um, distorted? No, you you just, should they have just a make a model. Why would you... What? Sorry, you didn't answer my question. Why would you uh, project a flat map on a globe? It's more very impractical to take with you if the Earth is flat. Uh, you're doing the wrong question. Perhaps it's actually flat and they're deforming it around a globe when it's actually flat. Why would it do that? Probably to deceive you. Yeah. Okay, so to make you those, feel it. Spirit, yeah. Big floaty balls work. <laughs> because they believe that we're on a ball. Yeah. But why is the globe map, uh, the, a globe itself is accurate while a world the map globe is not map accurate? Isn't actually at all what you're globe talking globe. about. Reverse that. Flip the globe. It. There isn't an accurate globe map either. There are uh, sections that are taken out. Huge sections of Antarctica. Antarctica is a ring that goes around the whole thing. <laughs> and there appears to be a section. <laughs> Where is this ring? Is there is not well. a single proof of that ring, though. Well, that, that's why there are the problem. Problem. This is true. But I don't know the Antarctica ring. A friend of mine is <laughs> a pilot. And when he planned flight, flight routes, it